Hariba anti-riot police rushed parliament on Tuesday to remove CCC lawmakers who had refused the Speaker of the National Assembly's order to leave the legislative chamber, injuring several MPs in the process. Once Mudenda announced the recall of 24 opposition lawmakers at Senjizo Chibanga's request, who asserts to be the interim CCC Secretary General, parliament became a battleground for about two hours. Nine senators and 15 members of the National Assembly make up the recalled lawmakers. CCC MPs vehemently disagreed, stating that the recalls were unlawful. Almost 100 opposition MPs were eventually removed from the legislative chamber after police requested backup from their anti-riot colleagues. Amos Jabaya, Amkoba MP, reported that some MPs were hurt when they were hit with truncheons and some had their clothing torn. The MPs will meet with Nelson Chamisa, the party's leader, on Wednesday to discuss the next steps, according to Chibaya. Our database does not even have this guy named Shibangu. He doesn't even belong to our party. Shibangu won't be able to recall our legislators. Chibaya added, the only opposition party in Zimbabwe's parliament, CCC, is considering recalling all 103 of its lawmakers and 27 of its senators in opposition to the recalls. Chibangu said Chamisa is a fraud. With a letter to Mudenda dated October 6, the opposition leader attempted to halt the recalls, but the ZANU-PF member ignored the letter. Mudenda made the following announcement after all of the opposition MPs had been expelled. They were now barred for the following six sessions and would each forfeit two months' pay. Following the parliamentary altercations, Chamisa wrote on Twitter that Zimbabwe is in a serious political crisis as a result of a defective and contested election. Partisan control of public institutions is criminal. He continued, Both Zimbabwe and ZANU-PF are not the same thing. Legislation should be made by parliament, not broken. Zimbabwe will be liberated. The expulsion of party members from parliament just one month after their election is seen as a flagrant act of provocation and increases the pressure on Chamisa who is already unsure of how to respond to allegations of poll fraud, job Sakala's continued incarceration, and a number of state-sponsored offenses directed at opposition activists. Some opposition backers want the opposition to organize demonstrations against the ZANU-PF-led administration.